VPN, GTubing, and streaming has never been easier. And it is thanks to Prism Live Studio. How did they do this? Well, they solved a big problem that a lot of my chatters come in and ask. Hey, I want to be a PNG tuber, but I don't have a laptop or a PC. How can I still do that? For a very long time, I didn't have a great answer. Sorry, I don't know of any software. Even in my old videos where I covered PNG tubing software, there were people that were disappointed that you couldn't live stream right off of this application. Still needed something like OBS or Streamlabs in order to capture it. That all changes now because now Prism Live Studio is not only a live studio software, it also integrates your PNG tuber within the application. There's no need to have another device to capture your PNG tuber. Wow. Now, before I go into showing you how you can become a PNG tuber and start live streaming for free today, I'd like to thank Prism for sponsoring this video and for creating so many cool tools that I can mock my chat with. Now let's head over to the app store. So in the app store, you want to type in Prism Live Studio and it'll look like this, then start downloading. Once it's done, let's open it up. You'll see screen, camera, and VTuber. Make sure you're on VTuber. Here, the first thing you'll see is the pre-made PNG tubers that Prism provides. So if you click right below the settings gear button, right here with the smiley face, you can see all the options you have for pre-made PNG tubers already. And they all come with sets of emotions. I want to share with you how you can put in your own PNG tuber. One thing you gotta make sure is make sure that it is at least nine by 16 or 675 by 1200 pixels. Make sure you transport it as a PNG with a transparent background. All of this is just to help make it look clean and pretty. By the way, I transport all my files using Google Photos and put it into my phone, download it that way. Or you can also use Discord, Dropbox, whatever works for you. So after clicking register your new avatar, there are these little faces that help you understand what picture goes where. When your character is speaking with their eyes open, you select the mouth closed and the mouth open. And then same thing for when their eyes are closed. This helps create a blinking effect. Bop, bop, bop. You can also do different mouths like this. I like to do sometimes, ah. So it looks like the mouth open has different mouth forms. You can see that when my character is irritated, uh, that little irritated symbol shrinks down whenever the character blinks. That makes it look a little bit more dynamic. I like to set up my bear where its arms are up when it is opening its mouth and when it's closed, it goes back down. That way it looks like it's smacking its keyboard. Just small movements, even making the hair move a little bit while it's blinking. Those little things can add a little bit more life to your PNG tuber. What I personally love about this program is that instead of using hotkeys, I can see an emote to help me understand what expression is keyed to what. This is nicer than hitting one, two, three, four when I have no clue what two means. So you set up your expression the same way you would set up your default default expression. You can select from all these emotes. I like to add little things so like tears for my little sad emote. To make this sad emote even sadder, yeah. let's make it shake. This application lets you choose what type of motion it has, talking, not talking, or for both. I like to look at the pre-made models and see how they work, but I wanted mine to be a little different. I wanted my crybaby emote to be shivering and shaking. He's about to break. A cool trick for the emotes is not just using it for your expressions, but also setting up different outfits, color styles. You can see on my pair PNG tuber, there isn't emotes for exactly what I was looking for, but I can color code to the best of my abilities. So this red angry face reminds me of my orange bear. And then the little bit of white on the super angry puff is my strawberry milk bear. This emotes just helps me switch much more easily than having to set up a whole new model. You can move this mic bar up or down it is going to by default use your phone mic i personally like that because some of the png tubing software i have talked about before people were confused on how to set up your mic so it's all there already by default all you need to do is look at where you talk pop 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 to activate it and just make sure it's not capturing the background noise now let's talk about the backgrounds. You can import your own background or you can use their pre-made backgrounds that are super nice. You can be on the beach. You can have a nice just chatting screen with your room in the background. And Prism Studio provides so many like gifts and little dancing things that you can move around the room and place wherever you'd like to just decorate the room, give it more life. 
along with adding a chat widget. Within the chat widget, you can customize the font, customize what it looks like in the background. It shows you a preview of how it will look like on multiple different streaming platforms. A very unique thing about Prism Live Studio is that you can multi-stream and the chats can be integrated within this chat box. So multiple chats from Facebook or YouTube or Twitch. Now there's some other cool things you can add to your mobile stream as well as your PC stream. But we're focusing on mobile. You can add a link. So if you have alerts that you want from Stream Elements, Stream Labs, whatever it is, you can put it in this link. You can put in a timer. You can put your socials or a little text. And you can even draw on the screen. If you want to celebrate with your chat or show them that you are in an angry mood, you can click these little buttons and just make things a little bit more interactive, more fun, kind of expressing your emotions with the integrated gifts that they have within the program. This is how my mobile stream looks after I've set it up. I think it's it's super fun. One of the biggest advantages of the app's live streaming feature is that it allows YouTube mobile streaming without limiting the number of subscribers you need to do so. Now, when you are ready to go live, you can hit this movie action button and will ask you to connect one of your streaming platform accounts. If you don't see your platform here, that's okay. As long as you have a stream key, you can put custom RTMP and you should be able to plug it in there. Once you connect your account, the multi-broadcast option should be there and you are ready to go live. I don't think that the there's been anything as nice as Prism Live Studio that is so friendly to mobile users. I mean, I can add a playlist to my stream using their copyright free music where I'm telling you as a YouTube streamer, it has been a struggle to find copyright free music and to have it all in this app where I don't have to worry about downloading or how is it gonna play, whatever else, it takes away all that stress from me. And on the PC version, you can even add an audio visualizer, which I love. I've had so much fun setting up my stream, which reminds me, you can send the PNG tuber from your mobile app to your PC in order to stream using the PC. Now you will need both Prism Live Studio and Prism Lens in order to do so. You swipe to connect, connect it using the QR code. Now when you are setting this up, you want to make sure that you go down here, right? So you have these options. This is for if you're doing your webcam through your phone. So it has little different options if you want to like do a beauty effect on here. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that. I am going to just use video only. No audio will come through my output source. And we can do these color corrections, whatever you need, color filters. This is again great for people that are using this as a webcam. Now I want to set this up as a video capture device, right? So let's change this to PNG to Burr 2. We'll do Prism Lens. But as you can see, there's still a background on here. So if you don't want a background, because it is kind of throwing it off, right? Choose the green background on your app, then click OK. Find our little PNG Tuber 2. Select filters, select um, effect filters, chroma key. I do recommend auto rotating and holding your phone horizontally. I personally feel like it's a little bit more clear this way. And for my bear, it's a necessity to have it this way so that nothing's cut off, but up to you. You will though need Prism Live Studio on your mobile app in order to do this. Now, I personally like it because then I don't have to worry about it taking up my monitor space or my keyboard hotkeys getting in the way. I can just use this as my little stream deck, hotkeying the expression that I want, which also Prism Live Studio has a stream deck feature. Here's some of the cool things that you can do if you hook it up to Prism Live Studio's remote controller. Taking that off, I'm taking off my Prism chat. I'm taking off my Giphy stickers no more sticker my music playlist is gone that is all being controlled through my phone even my vtuber is gone it's really really neat thank you again prism live studio for sponsoring i really had fun exploring your platform and i do like it both in pc and mobily i'm someone who gets very stressed out with even the thought of setting up my live stream so i really like that the process was user friendly prism live studio has a blog as well as a discord so if you have any questions they are really there to help i will be listing all the links that you will need in the bio below i have a lot of faith in prism live studio especially for dedicating a whole section to just vtubing what what else will they have in store for us if you found this video helpful please give it a like it would mean the world to me and thank you so much for watching it till the end take care have a lovely day and i'll see you next time